What's up everyone, this is Big Chips Gaming, bringing you back Starfield, episode 3. We haven't really done much of anything, I did go and store some stuff in my ship off camera, and now we are at a very lovely 54. It also came to my attention that I leveled up a few times. I've got one skill point, I thought I had three. <laughs> um, but let's have a look, what, what, what do we want to go with? We'll leave that for now, we'll have a look at it in a bit. I'll have to, might have to look off camera. What have we got in here? Weapons case. A laser rifle. And it's a beast. Sure, 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 yeah, yeah. What, let's have a look at it. Ooh. I would like to put that On my hotbar, please. That was weird, but we, we've done it. I thought pressing, going to the mouse, pressing B like down here was was gonna add it to my favorites, but obviously not. Anyway, what have we got? Just a cheeky look around. Syringe, no thank you. Oh, med pack, nice. More about that. Okay. Possibly oh, more enemies. Pirate assault spacesuit. Oh, show me. Oh, that's oh, that's pretty good. Oh, really? Physical protection. It's lower. Energy's a little bit higher. It's not very good. All right, we'll have to keep that in mind. Might have to store that in my spaceship. Might have to sell it, because it doesn't seem very practical. Not like my other one. Seems a little, a little bit shite. Uh, no, nothing around, nothing here. What have you got? Blue elbow grease gear. Sure. Med pack. Boom pop. Nice cheeky little drink, maybe. Right, what do we have? Am I supposed to be in here? I don't know if I am. Oh, this way. Listen up! We got someone trying to jump our score. Hold them off here while Brogan sets up on the roof. I'm on it! No one's getting through. I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> what? Get around them! Keep them pinned! Where are you? Oh, the zoom. The zoom on it. Oh, headshot. Oh. Stop missing. Okay, so that guy killed himself. I'm going to blow him up. <laughs> Come on. Are you going to... No? Did I kill you? I don't know if I, I don't think I did. All oh, right. Okay. Apparently I did. Never maelstrom. Whoa. I thought I killed him. Turns out I didn't. He ran into the <laughs> AI guys. AI in games. Revolutionary, so different. <laughs> Anything in here? This looks like something. Nah, maybe not. Well, he's got a few bits. Heal paste. Another pirate spacesuit. Oh, I can see that. Getting a bit too much for me, old legs. All credits. Doors locked, but let's see if we can open it. Um, yeah. How do I? How do I lock this one in then? 
Okay, I've run out of picks. Wow, that's shit. Auto. No. Oh, for God's sake. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I think I've used up all my picks. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Game. Me. Both. There's probably some amazing stuff in there too. Don't do that to yourself, John. Don't, don't. Don't do that to yourself. Think negative thoughts to make yourself feel better. <laughs> right. Can I go in here? Yeah. The lab coat. What was this? Toxin. Common organic resource. This item can be used as a component in crafting. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, what have we got here? Credits. Stimulants. I love me my credits. Fire extinguisher. Could probably deal with that on my ship if I don't have one on there already. I think that's everything I needed to grab. There was literally hardly anything left to pick up. You pirate. He ran into there and then attacked me. Am I supposed to go that way? Nope, it just looks like a bed. Someone's been sleeping there. What have you got? Oh, some credits. Two Digby's. Let's try again. I found two more. Let's try again. Don't tell me it starts again. Okay, Q. Let's me choose which one to do. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> right. Why can't I put that on? Why can't I? So let me. Oh. And we done it. Thank God for that. Pick five locks. Sweet. There better be something good in here because it made me use all of my picks. So far, nothing. Desktop soil bowl. No, thank you. Hayden wins project terminal. Alright, phase two, Hayden Wynn, senior xenobiologist, Creek Research Facility. April 5th, 2308. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapon we had hoped for. So, it's time to expand our operations. MAST has finally approved the next stage of this facility's operations. Project Pet Shop, phase two, will now commence. That's too much reading. If you guys want to read it, feel free. <laughs> I just want to play. I want to kill fools. I want to build a ship. I want. I want to do all of that. It'll always be on my YouTube channel. So, if I ever want to read it, some look for some law, then. Oh, not bad. Another safe. Ah. Oh. There's another safe. I need more picks. So yeah, this room was absolute crap. Absolute crap. What's an Argon? Argon. Okay. Have I been in here? Right, let's progress. We went into that room, we couldn't find anything. Let's close that door. Some a dispenser. Oh, some more credits. 162. Doctor Wayne Emergency Slate. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michael 
Jackson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Whoa. Uh. Fuck you, lizard snake. Uh, leech thing. We have progressed. We have gone through this hatch. What is going on? I'm nervous because it's very eerie. Oh, amp, med pack, heart plus. And what's in this? Anti personal rip shank. That sounds like deodorant. All right, rare item. It's a rare melee. Oh. Deep mining spacesuit. Adaptive frame, lead, chlorine. Okay. Um, weapons. I've got so many weapons now. <laughs> I keep finding weapons. Okay, so this is a knife. It's worth quite a bit. Probably not going to use it. I'm all in. I'm all into those guns. Whoa, are they bad guys? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, they are. The frontier has a new captain. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? I'm a constellation. You need to stop attacking our ship. Lie. That's right. I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back off. Attack and I'll talk. I have places to be. <laughs> What's your problem with Barrett anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Oh, crap. Okay. Lie. That's right. I could press it. Fuck off. Oh. <laughs> You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of Ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Oh god. There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. Didn't think so. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Okay. Okay, so that's telling me. Alright, so five is very difficult. You have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. I just made a past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me? <laughs> Putting you down is going to be fun. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it run, turns away. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one to choose. That's uh, not a bad point. Oh. Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. Oh. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without oh. Crimson Fleet interference. Oh, nice. So I did it. If I walk towards him, is he going to kill me? 
What if I take stuff? No, they're not bothered if I take stuff. Please don't shoot me. No treasure. Everything to do with Barrett turns into a mess. No, it doesn't. I lied about that. There probably is. There's a lot of treasure in that because I put it there. Helium. Helium. We're flying everywhere. Literally, I'm full of helium. <laughs> I mean, it's only three of them. <laughs> I'm sure I've... Where are we, Rafe? This, that, that plastic bucket container is having a rave. Fasco, could you just get out of the sodden way, please? Okay, I think we're done here then. I could jump so high. Oh, I wonder what's up there. Sorry, I got your cups. Oh, okay. Possible more enemies up here? Oh, they're not enemies now, they're frenemies. I don't see anything worth taking. No. Nothing really much going on up here. If I jump off this ledge, will I die? Oh. Weapon case. Oh, a shotgun. Coachman shotgun. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Oh, I like that. I'm glad I came up here now. Med pick, med pick, med pack. Thank you. And I think that might be the lot. I want to put that on my hopper. That shotgun looks sick. Where is it? Coachman. And I want to put it there. Sweet. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Look at the size of those barrels. Wee. Falls like Ouch. that have a high <laughs> probability of compromising your health. Oh dear. Well, okay, so it's time to go back to ship. Uh, yeah, that's where I came from. Right, okay, so there's nothing else. As far as I'm concerned. I think it's time to go back to the ship. Well, I don't think I've been here yet. Anything here? Wire spool. Bolt car, sure. Don't think I've found that yet. Okay. Run and jump! Wee! Ouch. My O2 seriously depletes when I'm out of any station, when I'm just running around. And I suppose this is a moon. Is this a moon? It can't be, because there's alien life on here. This must be a planet. Oh, okay. So I did this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Fitness. In space, the greatest commodity is oxygen and the increased lung capacity gained by regular physical fitness regimen is essential to survival. And I just uh, I just got this. You have 10% more oxygen available. Cool. Use up all oxygen 20 times. That's bloody easy because I keep doing that. All I have to do is just jump in the spot and then, <laughs> and then that challenge will be done. Do they slowly... Oh, right, it unlocks. So when I've done that challenge, it unlocks this, and then my skill point can pay for it. I don't like that there's two blockages. Right, physical, weightlifting, wellness, boxing. Right, physical. We're going into the physical side of the tree. Theft. Okay. Science. There's so much. I love it. It's so good. Right, so let's get out of here. Let's fly away. If 
fast travel directly from the mission menu press tap okay take off where are we going I do not know Wants me to go to another solar system. Fast. Oh, okay. Jump is X. Power up grav drive. Right. So what was it? It was O. O, and then grav drive. Right, I need to take some stuff down. That could go down. Engine, maybe a couple. Oh, nice. I like that. That is really cool. God damn my eyes. I'm blinded. Oh, yeah. Starship Frontier. This is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Oh, New Atlantis. Um, can I... Do I just fly there or... Right, okay. So I just do that. Land. Oh, I've heard that this is one of the big settlements. I am so tired. I don't like driving today at work. Okay. Nice and sunny. Earth like planet. Let's get the hell up. I could have just said press uh, exit ship. Actually, yeah, while I'm in here, let's have a look at our research lab. Station, research station. Loading, hurry up. Okay, equipment. Okay, so I can make mods. Polymer. Volume selected tungsten. Okay, so I need these to be able to do it. Okay. Um, no, not equipment. Weaponry. Barrel mods. Grips. Optic. And lasers. Uh, aluminium. Okay, yeah, three out of three, definitely. Uh, sealant. Remaining progress. Oh, I need these two. Okay, so I need one more of them, and I need sealant. Confirm. Can I make sealant? Oh, okay. Oh, I've done it. Sick. Right, we've dropped some stuff off. Let's get outside into the great unknown, New Atlantis. Gotta be honest, I'm a little surprised every time this ship makes it back in one piece. <laughs> I'm hey, surprised Bosco. I did it. What? No bears? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory is uncanny. So what do I do now? Okay. 
just keep walking. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that is bursting with life. You will be scanned as you enter Lots of people. Please keep moving. Scanned. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Why does he? Why, when he talks, he sounds like he's in my head when I'm like a hundred miles away from him? <laughs> Loving the outfit, guys. Looking rather dapper. Sick as anything. Trident. A universe of leisure. Style among the stars. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Good to know. Thank you, Vasco. I'm sure, we'll go to the Mast District. Alright, let's get on it. Come on, Vasco, keep up. Don't just stare at yourself. Bit of vanity going on over there. The only sexiest creature ever existed is a Natalie. Free Star Collective and the UC are still fighting the colony war. We just need to convince her that President Abeyo isn't the same as her predecessors. That an adversarial UC is a thing of the past. Does Radcliffe even need to be involved? President Abeo wants to foster relations, not fracture them. Keep up. We'll make sure she knows me. Good. I love, I love the facial animations. It's so good. Are you gonna say something? No. <laughs> I just got in her way. Sorry, love. I apologize. Swim pool. Oh. Maybe not a swimming pool. The weather is rather overcast and crappy. Kind of like what it is here right now. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Big buildings. I'm loving it. Lots of greenery. Some soldiers. Hi, guys. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little outposts everywhere. There were so many facilities abandoned after the colony war, the pirates used them everywhere. I'm gonna have to make a note of that. I think I went the wrong way. The lodge. Here we are. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. I've got a watch like that. I've got a smart watch too. <laughs> Which I can't live without. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, yeah, that's how, it, that's how it all starts off as. And then you find out the ultimate agenda. And it turns out that they want to kill everyone and everything. We appear to have a visitor. Oh. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Um, he stayed behind because he he needed to uh, tidy up the dead bodies. He needed to bury them. Pirates attack Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. It doesn't matter. Either of it. Who are you? Sure, I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. He's a lie detector. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to neon. But that didn't happen. They're here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? 
hear anything. I don't, know, I don't remember. I blacked out. It was bright lights and music. I'm not talking about this. That thing almost killed me. How many times has this happened? Who else has had these visions? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, do you expect us to believe in fairy? If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? I won't take it. <laughs> but gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Where did I have that stored? <laughs> oh my god. Oh crap. That's it. They're reacting. It's gonna blow. Look at how it's coming together. That energy Run. that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that girl. Breathe. Calm down. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are creepy. you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Alright, I'm in. Tell me why was next. This is all a little much. I need some time to clear my head. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? You want me in the constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? You should take some time to get settled in. We're diving in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? Yes, we'll please. Out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. <laughs> oh, skill point. Level three. Lodge key, constellation. Talk to Sarah again. Oh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we have. Right, so what's new? All right, let's have a look at our skills. So we've got a skill point. Okay. So I can pay. I can buy these ones. That's fine. So this one is wellness. By embracing an active lifestyle and good nutrition habit, one may improve the overall sense of health and even gain prolonged life expectancy. Weight training so you increase one's ability to carry weapons and equipment both in space and on the ground. Increase total carrying capacity by 10 kilograms. Yeah. I have a feeling that carrying capacity is going to be a massive problem in this game. <laughs> For me, anyway. So, okay, so sprint for 1,000 meters while at 75% or more of your maximum load capacity. Okay. The, that, the, that one... That challenge and this challenge, they're, they're stuff that would just somewhat just happen gradually and naturally. And I'll, I'll most likely just forget about that I was doing challenges anyway. <laughs> I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Well, show me then. Take me to my room. I want to take it, but people are watching me. <laughs> well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Okie dokie. 
I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. Then don't stand so close to it then. Back the I hell away. Your service, Captain. Oh, be quiet, Vos Vas Vas Vasco, whatever your name is. Nice little cliffhanger. Well, not really a cliffhanger. Kind of like a... We've arrived. She's the leader. She's the boss. She's the mayor or something. That's what I get the vibe from anyway. And uh, so far so good. We travel to another solar system. That was pretty banging. That was cool. That was visually orgasmic to the eyeballs. To the retinas. But anyway. Um... Thank you very much guys for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay up to date with more uploads. And please subscribe. It helps the channel out bunches. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gaming!